Hello guys, welcome to our lesson. In this lesson we're going to learn how to work with the hypershade window. So um let me just uh close the hi this is the hypershade window, okay? So I'll just close it for now. So um you can view everything that we're working with in the um, attributes editor, okay? Which is here. So I can just click on the on the face or the body on the head of the body and it will show you the <coughs> the um, the uh, materials that we're working with in the attributes editor so we can also use the global view <coughs> uh, we can also use the global to view all the textures in um, the global view which will be the re go to windows ren uh, rendering um, editors then the hypershed this is pr this will pretty much give you the global view of what you've um, actually used okay which is here so we've got um, all the materials that we've used to make this model on here. Look at these as um, the buckets of uh, buckets of paint with paint inside that we've actually used to paint to coat the outside of this robot that we've got on here. So if you um, if you look at uh, this object, we can apply um, we can apply any of these buckets of paint to any object that we select. Okay, so um, looking at the chest, the chest right now it's um, it's uh, silver, so we can just select that and apply, just um, uh, right click that and assign material. So we'll assign the um, whatever purple material to the chest. Okay, so that's pretty much applying the existing color to whatever material that we actually select. <coughs> so um, what? The, this is a very important learn to use the hypershade guys the hypershade allows us to manage all like pretty much all the materials and do a lot of and it can do a lot of other things so this is just one of the things that you can do with the hypershade okay you can also create a new material within the within the hypershade so let's say if we want to um create a new material just uh, there's two as you can see there's create and there's beans okay so make sure you're in create, then just uh, create a Lambert material. There it is. We've got a Lambert material. And again, if we um, double click this uh, Lambert material, it comes up with um, the attributes editor. And within the attributes editor, we can actually change colors. We can assign new color to, um, to the Lambert material, as you can see. Or maybe, maybe we might as well just paint it blue. So we've actually um, built a uh, Lambert material which is blue, like a bucket of paint and filled it up with blue, okay? And again, if I double click any shader in here, it will do the same, it will take you to the attributes editor. So let me show you. If I double click this one, okay, because I can't see what name this is, let me just, if I double click the Blin, the Blin 7, it to um, show you all these um, materials. So you can also um, assign a shader to any anything. Let's say um, let's say we can uh, look at this foot. Okay, right click black, assign material. Then um, it's, it's acting it's acting up. Anyway, we can uh, click this one, assign blue to the material and there you go you've got the blue assigned to that same material and um, the other thing uh, is noisy again um, let me just put this up and um, you can also graph you, okay you can also you can also um, see how the shader is built you can graph the way the shader is built okay so let's see um, we can click on here. We can either click on here. My laptop. Are you okay? I've got a dual screen, so I can actually put this one on here, but you wouldn't see it. So I have to work with this little window. Okay, we've got a dial case here, which is uh, this one here. So with the dial case, we can actually um, see exactly how what it's made of because we can uh, mix different. Um, materials and different uh, things to make a dial case okay 
So just go to um, just a right click graph network and you have the network that um, let me just bring it down here. You have the network <coughs> graphed. Okay, so at the moment you will be able to see that we've got um, the we've got the dial case color. Okay, and from the color we've got um, we've got a dial case. We've got this dial case. From the dial case we've got um, color which is attached to the dial case. Okay, and as well as the texture which is controlled by the uh, this one the place 2d texture place 2d texture 6 okay so that's how you look at it you've got the dial case which has been attached a color of um, like a, a black color and um, controlled by the place 2d texture 6 that's how you look at it guys you can also um, you can also because this, these are two D shader, so you would uh, option click. You can do the same thing, okay, guys. You can um, you can uh, minimize mo uh, middle click and move it, but unfortunately we can't rotate it because it's a two D. So you can only minimize um, the same way. Um, control right uh, right click to zoom in and out, and um, middle click with the option button to actually drag it so um, <clears throat> sometimes you build a, a huge network okay you can build a huge network of colors textures and uh, cases and you um, with uh, the uh, ab ability to actually zoom in and out and move move here move it there you will be able to see exactly all the components that you use to actually build your network so that's just one of the things I wanted to point out, guys. So let's just um, click on this foot and just assign um, the the normal material which was um, assigned earlier. So uh, <clears throat> another thing that I want to point out is um, you um, you can also uh, click on file and import other objects, other textures, other materials from within Maya. Okay. So you can also, um, yeah, you can import material, you can import selected network, or, yeah, just the basic things. You can also edit, you can also um, delete and use node. What I, my favorite is um, delete duplicate shading or delete unused nodes. So you can, um, as you can see, we built uh, the Lambert. We built the Lambert, so we can actually um, delete unused nodes, and it will delete whatever we haven't used. As you can see, it's actually deleted. So whatever you have in you, pretty much just cleans up your window automatically. Okay, then um, again, another good thing, you can delete duplicate shading network, which is pretty much delete, deleting all your duplicated, uh, sh uh, duplicated networks or whatever, which again just cleans out the window. Okay, I can also select objects within... Um, uh, I can also se select objects with uh, select all by type. You can select object by uh, type. You can also select objects with uh, materials applied. Just all these different um, options, which is uh, which are pretty much self-explanatory, if you ask me. And um, we've got create, which allows us to um, which allows us to create any material that we want. Fong e fong different materials pretty much okay different materials so again self-explanatory you can also change ways you can graph uh, you can also change ways to graph your connections it's just just uh, play with it guys play with it and uh, it also gives you um, the ability to um, create tabs okay create tabs change the way you you want it um, you want your graph to to work to uh, to look Got your attributes editor for that. Actually, for the hyper shade, you've got options and the help. So, yeah, that's um that's how it is. That's how uh, the hyper shade works. Uh, play with it and uh, learn more. And uh, again, I want to point out that in um for the rest of this tutorial, we're gonna pretty much just fly through. So um make sure you're up to date. I'll I'll be uploading videos every um 
Fridays, Mondays, and Wednesdays without fail, unless um, something happens. But Mondays, Fridays, and um, Wednesdays, I'll be uploading videos. So thank you very much, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I uh, hope you learn more uh, in the next coming tutorials. We'll see you later. Bye.